We're going to look at one more type of transformation. This one's called the dilation. And this happens to me every year when I get my eye checkup. Um, the doctor wants to dilate my eyes. So what he does, if you've never had your eyes dilated, is he puts the he or she uh, puts these drops in your eyes, and it makes your pupils really humongous so they can see inside your eye better. And then if you go out into the sunlight, it like burns your eyes because they're so open that it absorbs so much light, um, and it lasts for a few hours. Maybe you've had that done to you, maybe you haven't, but that's what a dilation is. It's when something gets larger or smaller. We have another word for this when it gets smaller, but we group them both under the definition of dilation. Dilation is a transformation in which a figure is made larger or smaller, and we do it around or with respect to a point called the center of dilation. You can see this picture right here down underneath. It has the center of dilation marked, and then here's the figure, and they dilate it, and it got smaller. Or we had this big figure, and they dilated it, and it got smaller. Now, for vocabulary words, um, dilations, when it gets bigger, it's called an enlargement. When it gets smaller, it's called a reduction. Let's look at example one. We have to just simply tell whether it is a dilation. So does it look like the figure got bigger or smaller? And if the answer is yes, then it's a dilation. So this shape is the same shape, only bigger. So this is a dilation. And this uh, triangle over here is not. It looks like it was just a translation. When we look at dilations, we have this thing called the scale factor. And the scale factor is when you take the ratio of the side lengths of the image and compare it to the side length of the original. And that's how you can tell how much bigger or how much smaller something got because of the size of the scale factor. Here we've got our handy chart with the words and the algebra and the picture. So what we do in order to take uh, ABC and dilate it to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is we would multiply each value of the coordinate by the scale factor. What that means in algebra is we start off with XY and the letter that we use for the scale factor, um, don't ask me why, probably Greek, a lot of math has Greek origins, uh, but we use K to represent the scale factor. And so what we would do is we would take our point XY and we would turn it into K times X comma K times Y. Remember, a variable next to another variable means multiplication. So we multiply all the numbers in the coordinates by the scale factor. It doesn't really get super complicated. Let's check out example two. The vertices of a triangle are given. We have to draw the image after a dilation with a scale factor of three. And then we have to say what kind of dilation it was. Was it enlargement or a reduction? So we're going to pause the video right now, and you're just going to graph triangle ABC. All right, so we've got this super tiny looking triangle. And for this one, we're actually going to get the coordinates first. It's kind of like when we did the rotation. We got the coordinates, and then we plotted it. They want us to do a scale factor of 3, so I'm going to take each of my coordinates and multiply everything by 3. So A prime is going to be at 3, 9, and I got that by taking 1, 3 and multiplying each of those numbers by 3. B prime is going to be at 6, 9, because I multiply the coordinates by 3, and then C prime will be at uh, 6, 3. So now let's plot that. Whoa, that just got super huge, which makes it an enlargement.
All right, let's check out another one. They give us the vertices of a rectangle, and they want us to do the same thing, only now we have a scale factor of 0.5. So again, pause the video and graph that rectangle. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to take all of our coordinates, and we're going to multiply by 0.5. So that gives me w prime is negative 2, negative 3, because multiplying by 0.5 is the same as multiplying by 1 half, or you can get your calculator. x prime is at negative 2, 4. y prime is at 2, 4. And z prime is at 2, negative 3. So let's graph it. W prime, X prime, Y prime, and Z prime. So that made the rectangle smaller. So that is a reduction because it reduced in size. When you're multiplying by a number that's greater than 1, your shape is going to get bigger like it did in the last example. When you multiply by a number that is less than 1, it gets smaller like it did in this example. So you can kind of go into the question knowing whether it's going to be an enlargement or a reduction. Let's look at an example where you have more than one transformation. If you look at example 4, they give us a trapezoid. They want us to dilate the trapezoid by a scale factor of 2 and then translate it 6 right and 2 up. So the first thing that we're going to do is plot our trapezoid, then we're going to dilate, then we're going to translate, and then we're going to write the coordinates. So first thing is for you to freeze and plot the trapezoid. Now I'm going to take my trapezoid and I'm going to dilate it by a scale factor of 2. So a prime is going to go to negative 4, negative 2, B prime is going to go to negative 2, 2. C prime will be at 0, 2. And D prime will be at 0, negative 2. Pause, please, and do those coordinates. Don't forget your primes. Don't forget your letters. It's okay if the shapes overlap. Now we're going to take it and we're going to translate it 6 right and 2 up. So each dot is going to move 6 right, 2 up. So let's see what we get. A prime is going to be at 2, 0. B prime is going to be at 4, 4. I'm sorry, B double prime. Oops, sorry. And A double prime. Got to remember that. C double prime is going to be at 6, 4. And D double prime is going to be at 6, 0. Now the question wants the final image coordinates. It doesn't matter what these were. It wants to know the coordinates of the final image. And actually, this blue shape, we didn't actually need to draw. We, it was helpful, um, but the question doesn't really need the blue shape. It really just wants that pink shape um, and the coordinates of the pink shape. So the final shape coordinates are 2, 0, um, 4, 4. 6, 4, and 6, 0. All right. Read the story, and when you're ready to start it, click Continue. I highlighted some important information. Let's freeze again, and I want you to graph JKL. 
Now what they want us to do is dilate it with a scale factor of 1.5. So you should be able to do that on your own. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a lot of pausing in this example. I want you to freeze the video and I want you to get me the new coordinates after you multiply by a scale factor of 1.5. All right, if your coordinates are different than mine, please fix them and let's freeze again and plot triangle J prime, K prime, L prime. Don't worry that you had to plot it in the middle of a box, that's fine. Um, but now they want us to ask not just can you draw it, but also how does the area change? So remember the area of a triangle is one half base times height or base height divided by two. So the area of the original refuge was one half of four and the height of it was three. It was three boxes tall. So that would be an area of six. Now let's find the area of the new refuge. So the area of the new one um, it's one half the new base is 6, and the new height is 4.5 because it's 4.5 boxes tall. So that gives me an area of um, 3 times 4.5, get our calculators powered up, 13.5. Um, so it says, how much does the area increase? So 13.5 minus 6 is 7.5. So that would be 7.5 square miles. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.